Hey, super everybody, it's Purpose Driven Life Sports, and I'm back here for some NBA news. And in this video, I think I'm going to probably throw in some NFL stuff at the end, maybe halfway through, but that's just a little, tell you guys a little something before I will start talking about the Lakers. Um, so, in the last video, I already told you guys about uh, what's going on with the Lakers. You know, the article I talked about yesterday that was detailing what Rob Lincoln and Magic Johnson were doing, the dysfunction in that franchise is terrible. I also told you guys in the last video as well that if I'm Genie Bus, I would clean out the front office. I didn't get into it as much, even though I did. I said a few things, but I'm going to tell you why again. It's that I said the NBA is a business. It's not a family business. It's just a plain old business where you're making billions of dollars in profiting. And in, in order for the Lakers to really get the most out of what they want to do, in order for them to really start becoming a real good team, Genie Bus has to clean out the front office. You got to get rid of Rob Link. I already, I already said that. You got to get rid of Linda Rambis, Kurt Rambis. Rambus, Spambus, I don't know who, who, if there's any other Rambus, get rid of them. All the all the people who are really good friends with Genie, if they're not helping the team, which I don't see those people helping the team, especially Rob Palenka telling stories about the Dark Knight. And I'm going to tell you guys a little something. I think everybody's heard this, but when he talked about Kobe Bryant meeting Heath Ledger after he watched the Dark Knight, well, Heath Ledger died six months before the movie was released. So that has to be one of the most stupidest lies you could ever tell uh it's a stupid story it, it's it's laughable it's not even it, 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 listen let me move on this team has to get back to being run as a business magic johnson and me what ooh. i already told you guys this i'm really sad for lebron um because I think for the first time in his career, he really actually trusted a franchise. He trusted a, an executive who thought he, who who he said was going to deliver on his promise. He actually trusted somebody. He devoted his his last his his last prime years to the city of Los Angeles. And did he also do it for the business? Of course he did. This is the this is one of the biggest markets. Probably. It, well, I think it's the second biggest market in the U.S. behind New York because New York is like the mecca. It's where everything really is. But in terms of L.A., L.A. is no, it's no shortage because Hollywood is there. LeBron's, you know, production company, that's how great he is. He, This is where he really should be, but he put his trust into what Magic Johnson said and it just, he got stabbed in the back. It, it, it pains me to say it because... I like LeBron. I think he's a great player. I, I'm not a big fan of some of the things that he does. I'm, I'm just really not. I think sometimes he, he could be a better leader. He could be uh, better at changing his game. But in this instance, he was screwed from the get-go. I didn't like how they built the team. It, it, it was ridiculous. Um, wow. Uh, Genie. <sighs> Genie bus. What it, sh Here's here's actually here's what I propose. If you don't want to get rid of all your friends, you need to be the owner and you gotta you gotta fire Rob Palenka. And I told you guys in the last video, he's not popular with other GMs, he's not popular with other agents because of like I said, his storytelling. He lies. He he's been known to lie. Not he lies, even though he has lied. He's been known to lie. And that really if you're known to lie, well, the phone will not either. The phone will either be, you know, just you'll be hung up on, or the phone will not be picked up. Which I, which has been heard around the league that people don't even pick up his calls. And it's terrible. So they have to get a new GM. It's it's got to happen. I don't. And I, I hear, I heard on ESPN they said that Genie's waiting till the summertime to really think about this, bro. You're waiting till the summer, till fall time? No, because guess what? As soon as you wait for that time, you might. You, there's a ninety percent chance you'll be you you uh, you'll be left with nobody who's gonna come over. You're stuck with these young players who don't trust the team, who aren't really in great terms. I think with LeBron right now, so uh, it's a sticky situation. Like I said. If I'm Genie, I clean out everything. I gotta, you gotta revamp that whole franchise, and I think you gotta have LeBron in on on much of the decision making because to me, he deserves it. He's earned it. He's put a lot of trust into this team. So, 
all or nothing. Now, to the NFL. Uh, I think we might start talking about some NFL from now on. You know, I think I got to mix some stuff up. Maybe I'll throw in some baseball because baseball to me is fun, even though I think uh, probably, maybe not, maybe sometimes, but I don't think people are really big on baseball. But in terms of NFL, uh, it's fun to follow. Right now, I haven't talked about it much because it is the off season. But, I mean, I don't see why not. Even though I did get an alert, which is what I'm talking about right now, that uh, 2021, not the 2019 or 2020 NFL season, but the 2021 season could be a very impactful year because I think that's also the year when the collective bargaining agreement is up in the NFL. That's when negotiations are probably going to start, and we're probably going to see a lockout. Uh, It's actually been known because the NFL profits like upwards of $10 billion a year the players, I think, I don't know how much, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but they don't receive as the NBA and the uh, and the players association for the NBA players. I mean, the NBA players receive fifty percent of the revenue in the NBA. Fifty percent. Well, for the NFL, it's it's way below fifty percent. I don't know what the percentage is. I'm probably going to get that. We'll do that uh, in my next video. Players want more money. Because they're they're being subjected to hits that are utterly ridiculous. The harm that can be done to the body is utterly ridiculous. The the CTE, all that stuff. You're putting your whole body at risk. They want to be paid more. Now, how successful is the NFL gonna? How how successful are the players gonna be in this? I think they're gonna have a really big case in terms of you look at the the NBA. Um, and the fact that the players are receiving fifty percent of the revenue, and the and the league is their league is growing exponentially, so that revenue is going to go up. And I love how the players are receiving the revenue because it's to me the NBA has become a great. I call it a players' league, and I think if you ask the commissioner, you probably say that uh, Adam Silver, because of all the things that they partner with with the players. Um, now people are like, like uh, I don't know about all that. Um, awareness stuff but to me they've done a great job I think with helping the players in terms of uh, social awareness social justice they've done to me better better with that than the NFL because to me the NFL is more like a, a company it's run like a company where the players are just all the employees it mom and I have talked about this before it's kind of run like a slave it's kind of run like a, a, a plantation type of deal which I don't mean to say it, but if you think about it, the way the 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 owners are, the way they talk. I remember uh, because of the kneeling situation with Colin Kaepernick, the, the NFL owners were like, "We're not having that," because it's run like a slave plantation, run like a company. the The NBA they didn't they don't allow kneeling either, but what they do allow is they support T-shirts, they support causes by players. I applaud that because I think if you have support from your you're basically your employer, then you're more inclined to be more cooperative with each other. They're more inclined to be fair with you instead. The, now, while I said that the NFL might have a case, doesn't mean that the owners are going to cooperate. The, the owners in the NFL want to profit as much as they can. And here's one thing that I think is misleading. They say the NFL is losing profit or losing viewership because of the kneeling with Colin Kaepernick, but the, I don't think that's the case at all. I'm pretty sure the viewership has went up every year. That's just probably a a, a little falsehood that they, that they throw out so that players would stop doing things because it, it'll compromise their money. To me, that's completely false. I'm probably going to have to learn more about this because I'm not really up to it, but I did get that alert that the collective bargaining agreement is going to probably... Um, I'm pretty sure it ends in 2021. It's going to be a lockout for sure, as the players should do a lockout. Things have got to change in the NFL in order for it to stop looking like it's run like a plantation because it's utterly ridiculous. You're putting your body at risk, but you're you're treated like oh, you guys are treated poorly, man. For for things that for for what they're really subjected to. So I I just gotta really come out with it, and in order for me to really uh really kind of change my thinking, there the then the NFL players and owners are going to have to really make changes together and really cooperate because it, it, it does look like a goddamn plantation there. The, the NBA, uh, is it like that? To me, not necessarily. 
because to me they cooperate more, but the NFL does look like that. It's 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 kind of sad to watch sometimes. But I think that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for listening. This was my uh, once again my take on the LA Lakers. This is my take on the NFL and the collective bargaining agreement and the way that the NFL is run. Looks more like a company, more like a, a plantation than more uh, like the NBA is like a real players league because the players have uh, have a lot of control as much as the owners do. So. And, and also, before I go, what I see with the owners is that the owners get in on a lot of stuff where I hear a lot of support from the owners, especially in the NBA. The owners and the players are really tight. They talk. Even though it's a business, I see a lot of times that uh, even though players aren't as loyal anymore, they tend to move on. The owners are, are uh, they're cooperative with the players. So I applaud the NBA for that. The, the NFL has to get on with that road. Like seriously and pretty quickly. So once again, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys, Purpose Dream Life Sports, and I will see you guys in my next video.